my little book of golden manners. Whether you're four years old, or three, or two, or fifth grade, or junior high, or high school, or college, or a grandma like me, we need to have our manners. We've been in the house with our siblings and our parents now for so long. And today, let's have a Remember Your Manners um, day. Uh, they remember the Patch the Pirate song, Remember Your Manners, because it is right. So let's see if the boy and the girl and the bear and the animals can help us remember our manners. Let's see what they have to say. Good manners make a person nice to know. Good manners mean being kind and helpful and friendly to people all day, every day. And that's something all of us need to do. Here's some good manners to learn. Before you go to the table, don't we go to the table to eat, wash your hands and face and brush your hair. At the table, here we are, good table manners. Sit up nice and straight. Keep your elbows off the table. Keep your feet on the floor. Don't wiggle or squirm or shout. Put your napkin in your lap. Silverware is not to play with. Use your knife to cut your food. And if you're too little, then have someone bigger cut your food. Use your fork to pick up your food, unless it's corn on the cob, then you can use your hands. Say please when you ask for something. Say thank you when you are given something. Chew your food with your mouth closed. Now, before you chew, the book doesn't tell us, does it? I have to thank Jesus for my food. That's I thank Mom and Dad for my food, and I thank Jesus for my food. Chew your food with your mouth closed. Never try to talk with your mouth full. At the end of the meal, put your silverware on your plate. Put your napkin beside your plate. Say, may I be excused, please, if you want to leave the table. Now, let Mrs. Auclair add a few more manners right here. Um, don't take more food then you're going to eat. If there's something you don't like, it's very impolite not to eat a little bit. So ask for just a little tiny spoonful. It would be ungrateful for you to refuse something because you don't like, especially if you're visiting somewhere. So you take a little bit and you eat it. And now, look at the girl. She's walking away. Where's her plate? It's right here. She put her silverware on her plate. She put her napkin down. At my house, when you ask to be excused, then you take your plate over to the counter, over to the sink. That way you're helping. Inviting friends to your house after the lockdown means seeing that your friends have a good time. Greet each one of your guests with hello and please come in. Show them where to put their hats and coats. If you have a friend that doesn't know everyone, say, I would like you to meet my friend and say your friend's name. Be sure to serve your friends some food and drink before you serve yourself. Now, what if there were only uh, was only one cookie left? Should she eat it? No, she should give it to the pig because he's our, her guest. Help all your friends to join in the fun. Sometimes a friend is shy. If your friend is shy, be especially kind and help him make friends with others. Ask your friends what games they would like to play. If they are visiting, you do what they would like to do. When your friends leave, thank them for coming to your party. That's just polite manners, isn't it? A uh, boy, oh boys. Boys have forgotten a lot of these manners. So have grown up men. A boy should help a girl on with her coat. Hold the door open for a girl or a grown-up. Let a girl or a grown-up go first. Respect your elders. Boys, respect girls. Hold the door. If a woman is carrying a big heavy load, then you help her. If a girl or a woman drop their things, you boys pick it up. Be a gentleman. Going to a party at a friend's house. Oh, don't we love to go to birthday parties? And it'll be nice when we don't have our lockdown going on and we could go to some other people's house. Going to a party at a friend's house means help.
helping him to see that everyone has a good time. Say hello to your friends and to his mother. Say hello to all the friends and be cheerful. Look at all the friends down there. Don't touch things or play with things until you ask. Sometimes we have a special toy, don't we, that we don't want to get broken. Now, if I were you I, and friends are coming, I would put that toy away or put it up high. But do ask. Say please if you want something and thank you when you're given. So, oh, look at the big piece of chocolate cake she's given. And she's so, supposed to say thank you. When you leave, tell your friend and your friend's mother that you had a good time. Say goodbye and say thank you for inviting me. When you telephone a friend, say who you are and say, may I speak to my friend please? When you answer the phone in your house, say who you are. Say, please wait, I will call mommy or daddy. Put the phone down gently. If you throw it down, it's gonna make a big loud noise the other person's ear. If mommy or daddy are not home, say, may I take a message? Now, we have to be careful here. Don't tell people your mommy and daddy aren't home. Say, may I take a message? They can't come to the phone now. And then you write it, write it down carefully. Write the message down or remember. Um, practice these. You have a phone. Everybody loves to answer the phone. My children would say, hello, this is Buddy. May I help you, please? And that way they know who you're talking to. When I call my grandchildren, especially the ones that live far away, sometimes they all sound a little bit alike. And so just say, uh, this is Kaylee. May I help you, please? If you're going on a bus or a train, wait your turn to get on. Now, look at the boy. He's letting this girl elephant, <laughs> a woman or a girl, go first. Don't push. We have a hard time at that school, don't we, when we're getting in line. Say, excuse me, if you want to get past. Say, I'm sorry, if you bump into somebody. Don't sit and stare at people that are different. It may hurt their feelings. Don't put your feet on the seat. He has his feet on the floor. On a bus or a train, don't sit down if grown-ups are standing. Now, this one is a pretty big tall. If there's no seat for them, you get up and say, won't you sit down, please? Especially if you're a boy and girls, if it's an older person, you stand up and let them sit down. But especially a boy, don't you be seating, sitting when a lady is standing on a bus or a train or something of that sort. Or just um, any place that you're sitting or standing. In a bus or a train or in a restaurant, don't talk loudly or shout be quiet. You're supposed to be seen and not heard. Don't run around. You run around all over. One time my husband took me to this real fancy restaurant. It was our anniversary. And the people sitting next to us had a little boy. He made so much noise. My husband and I couldn't even uh, hear each other talking. And it, here this was our anniversary. And we were wanting a nice romantic dinner. And this little boy ruined the whole thing. Cover your mouth when you cough, or yawn, or sneeze. A boy should remove his hat when he meets a lady. You're being a gentleman. Oh, remove his hat in church, or when the flag goes by. And I never heard this manner. Remove your hat in an elevator. Oh, and you don't wear your hat when you're inside the building, do you boys? Good manners are not just things to learn. Good manners help to make a person think about other people. Good manners help to make a person nice to know. Let me read that again. Good manners help to make a person think of other people and how to make them happy. Good manners help to make a person nice to know. You children, be nice to know. Think about other people. 
Think about how you feel. Think about how your mother would feel. And boys, you be gentlemen. And girls, let the boys be gentlemen. Stand aside at the door and let the boys open it. So today, Manners Day, remember your manners because, because it is right. And that's what Jesus would have us do.